Get excited, guys. We're going to college. Greetings, Internet. It's Katie, and I'm here on this fabulous Friday afternoon, hyped up on a chai latte from Starbucks to film my dorm haul. Woo! I am super beyond excited to sit down and film this video because, guys, this is my most epic haul video that I have ever filmed in my entire life. So yesterday, my mom, sister, and I went on a little dorm shopping adventure to Target and Bed Bath & Beyond. You guys probably saw that documented via Twitter. I posted quite a lot of photos of that journey. Basically, I got every single thing that I could possibly need for college, aside from my bedding, which I'm actually getting from Urban Outfitters, and it looks like this. So I just ordered that yesterday, so it should come in in like about a week, and then I'll be completely done and ready to go. I leave for college on the 21st of August. You guys have no idea how excited I am for college, and you guys totally get to come with me on my college journey, which is totally awesome. Get excited, guys! We're going to college! I feel like 22 Jump Street. So before I forget, I do want to mention kind of what my dorm is going to look like, just so you guys can get a little mental picture. I don't know why I just pointed to my cheek when I said mental. It's been a long day, guys. The dorm building that I'm actually staying in is brand spanking new, guys. So I'm the first person who gets to stay in my room, which is really, really cool. And we have air conditioning, which is awesome. And I'm actually staying in a co-ed dorm, so, well, my roommate's a girl obviously. But I'll be on a floor and a building with boys and girls. The dorms themselves are kind of Jack and Jill style, so it's me and my roommate Hannah, and then we have a bathroom that we share with two other girls in another room. So my roommate Hannah and I are actually lofting our beds up high so we can have our desks underneath, and that kind of just opens up the room and gives you a little bit more floor space underneath the beds, which is super duper cool. So let's get into the fun part, the stuff that I actually bought, which is a lot. That just rhymed. I'm on a roll. So beginning with the things that I got from Target. It's a fancy way of saying Target. I guess this is what we're going to start with. Super interesting. It's a book holder because for my classes I obviously have textbooks. Um, so I thought this would be fun to put on my desk. My college actually provides the desks and they're actually pretty decently big. So I'm going to set this just on the corner of my desk and stick my textbooks in there. It has like sparkly little shimmery things in there so I like it. So I saw these and since I'm a typical girl I could not resist. I feel like mason jars are just so trendy right now. And these are actually blue tinted mason jars. I figured these would be cool to store my makeup brushes, my pens, my pencils, etc. And it's super easy just to put little rocks in there and have everything stand up. So moving on to my beautiful desk lamp. Uh, this is the base. It's just this green blown glass sort of deal. And then this is the lamp shade that I got. It's super neutral um, and just has this cool floral stitching on it. I really like how these look together. So Hannah and I are actually going with an all white theme with like jewel toned accents, which sounds super like fancy, but really not. Basically, we're both going with white bedding or off white bedding and then kind of just random like colorful accents throughout the room. Honestly, I was kind of torn about buying this just because I feel like this takes up a lot of room. But I was like, you know what? It's cute. I don't really care. So above my bed, since I'm lofting it, I'll have just this blank wall. So I wanted to put something there. So I got this chalk decor garland thingamajig. This is what it looks like. It's basically this garland just string of those little... Oh, what are these things called? I feel like they start with a P. But I was thinking of writing my name on it, or the college I'm going to on it, or something fun with chalk. So the next little room decor thingamajig I got are these string lights, and they're just these white paper stars. I actually picked up two boxes of these, one for my side of the room, so I can hang it off my bed, and then one for Hannah's side of the room on her bed. So moving on to the next bag, I got one, two, three, four, five packages of command strips. Command strips are absolutely essential in college dorms because you don't want to hang something up and peel off the paint or deal with putting holes in the wall or anything like that, so command strips are your BFF. Moving on, I got two packages of these cork things, cork tiles, that's what it's called, a cork tile. So I'm gonna put these right behind my desk, or behind my computer, I guess, and I'm gonna hang up just random little posters and pictures and little trinkets and things from home, so. I also picked up a 100 or so clear push pins to put all the things into the cork. Carrying on with my mason jar addiction, I also picked up one of these mason jar tumblers, so I could put my tea in there, or my water, or other drinks while I'm studying, and just random things. I feel like it'd be cool to have this just in my dorm, considering I am going to have a microwave and a fridge 
and a Keurig. I'm totally getting a Keurig for my dorm because I'm coffee obsessed, as you guys know. So I actually have a micro fridge in my room, which is a microwave and a fridge all in one. And it's actually something that the college provides, so it's not something that I bought, um, but I'm like renting it, if that makes any sense. So basically, we have a little fridge. I thought it'd be cool to have a Brita water purifier, and it basically just sorts through all the chemicals and gross stuff and leaves you with a very fresh and clean water. So also from Target, I picked up this little toothbrush holder and super fun, super cool, I love it. So the first thing that I got right when I walked into Bed Bath & Beyond were these two sets of sleep masks and earplugs. You guys might know this if you follow me on Twitter, but I'm a total night owl, so I figured it would be nice for Hannah to have a sleep mask and earplug set just in case she's not a night owl. So I bought her one and also myself one because you never know. Hers says 10 more minutes on it, which I thought was really cute. And then mine says, you know, very typical, wake me up with coffee. And mine's purple because purple's my favorite color, of course. So the next thing that I got is this suction cup shower holder thing. It's pretty much the thing that holds your shampoo and your soap and all sorts of showery things. We're moving on to the bigger things that are going to take some of her body strength for me to hold up. Um, so anyway, I got these black hangers just because I thought they were pretty basic. I have the velvety kind um, in my closet right now. I'm pointing over there because my closet's over there. Um, but I figured it'd be cool to have a little bit of a change when I get to college and use the plastic ones because first of all, these ones are cheaper. Second of all, I can kind of hang them on top of each other, if that makes any sense, so I can hang more things. Um, I would totally show you, but they're in their packages and I don't want to mess them up because they're kind of pretty and put together. So something that I thought was cool was this slimline pant hanger because I actually have a ton of these things called pixie pants from J. Crew. You guys might know what they are, uh, but those are basically my jeans in the winter because I despise, absolutely despise wearing jeans. I hate wearing jeans. I would much prefer wearing these pixie pants because they're basically like leggings, but they're kind of more structured so they don't look as you know, promiscuous as just wearing no pants, so to speak. I have at least five pairs of those and just other assorted leggings. I figured it would be super cool and efficient to hang it on this instead of folding them and putting them in drawers and such because I use them so often. So the next thing is actually quite large. This is from Target. I totally forgot about the things over there, so I have a couple more things from Target. But this is a little rack thing, as you guys can see from the picture. It's for my shoes and this fits perfectly in my closet. So I actually probably won't stack all of my shoes on here. I'll probably use um, like maybe the bottom two for the majority of my shoes, or what am I pointing to? And just random odds and ends things. Just stacking my sweatshirts, you know, etc. I thought it'd be cool to have a little rack. When I move into my room, all that I'll have is that one bar just hanging across the top. So I thought it'd be cool to have a shelving unit also. Speaking of shoes, I have quite a lot of shoes. So I also got one of these over-the-door shoe organizers. It holds up to 12 pairs of shoes, which is probably the majority of the shoes that I'm going to bring for the fall time, so yeah, that is that. Back to Bed Bath & Beyond, I picked up, super boring, just one of those mattress toppers. Um, it looks like this, it's a mattress pad actually. It's basically just one of those essential things you need and it's kind of boring. But I got the Twin XL because my bed is Twin XL, like most college dorm beds. We're getting down to the nitty gritty, I think we're almost done. So next up from Bed Bath & Beyond, I picked up a 6 outlet surge protector because I have a lot of electronic devices and I need to make sure that I can plug them all in because I have absolutely no idea how many outlets my dorm room has. Before I forget, I also have a mattress pad, so like a tempur little pad thing that you stick on top of your bed. I'm using it as a footrest right now, so I'm not going to lift it up, especially because I have a lot of stuff bounced on it and I don't feel like moving it. But I have one of those, super cheap from Bed Bath & Beyond. I wouldn't say it's dirt cheap, but it's totally essential for a dorm room considering those beds are hard as rocks. So that is currently underneath the camera, but I do not feel like showing it because that involves a lot of movement and no, not happening. So moving on, I picked up one of these over the door quad hooks for the back of our door. I figured we could hang towels or bathrobes or just random things that we might need on the back of our door. And there's two for me, two for Hannah. And I really hope that this works because a lot of times I get one of these and the door won't close, so I'm crossing my fingers. Wow, I'm popular today. Good lord, that's not normally how life is for me, but you know, I'll take it. So next for my bathroom, I was in charge of getting the bath mat. So I picked up this one from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's just this seafoam green color. And it's by Elizabeth Arden, I feel like, I think that sounds right to me. Yeah. And it has those little, like, you know, grippy things on the bottom, so it's not going to go anywhere. And I like this color, so yeah. Last but certainly not least if I can get it without falling over. <laughs> wow, that was my exercise for the day. All right, um, last but not least, I got a new pillow because 
I figured that since I was going to college, it was time to get a new one. You guys probably don't know this about me because this is totally random, but I am a side sleeper, which means I sleep on my side. Totally makes sense, right? When I'm sleeping, I typically sleep on my right side like this. So I always, always, always got to get my side sleeper pillow. And this one's by the brand Sleep for Success, which is kind of weird. Alright guys, so that's it for my haul video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give this video a nice big thumbs up down below. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!